So in this next video, we want to look at focusing in on the sort of things that we do before we actually do a network adjustment. So we want to focus in and looking at the control obs, isolating the control obs and using tools such as uh, the point derivation report. So we can use these uh, spreadsheets that we've looked at, any of the optical, any of the, the, the optical spreadsheet, the vector spreadsheet, the point spreadsheet, we can use the, the project explorer to apply any edits that we um, have recorded in the field, um, such as in a field book. We can, it might be target height changes, it might be uh, feature codes that need to be changed. We can apply these uh, edits anytime using these spreadsheets. Um, or we can, of course, when we're troubleshooting the data and we find that there's other edits to be applied, then we can, we can use them at that stage as well. But generally, when we're starting to to process a survey, the first thing that we do is we'd start to focus on our control. And here I can, first of all, try and declutter the screen. So one of the options I can do is I can go into the observations and I can turn off the show side, um, the show side shot observations. And here it will turn off any observations that do not have any redundant observations going into them. So essentially any detail only points and we'll hold only the control points. Um, they will be the only observations that remain visible. Now it does by default leave the points hanging without the observations. So we can go into the points tool here and we can say, turn off the option, show disconnected points. And now we can focus in on just the control observations. Now, broadly speaking, what we can see here is there's essentially a traverse going through. So we've got an RTK value going into uh, station one and station two. We've got an RTK value going into station seven and station six. And we've got a connecting traverse going there. And then we've got a small loop traverse going around here. Um, and one of the limitations of a lot of software um, that's used for um, processing topographic survey uh, control is that we generally use a bowditch here and we would generally only fix the observations from the RTK observations would be fixed. So any errors in station one and station two and station six and station seven would be pushed into the traverse. Um, and of course, a bowditch here would not allow us to use the extra observations that we've got from going into station four and station five. So we're not able to use these redundant RTK observations. Now, TBC allows us to take a different approach in which we can basically use all the redundant observations that we've got. Naturally, it knows that the RTK values are generally not going to be quite as accurate in the local level um, as a total station observations. But in a, a wider, a bigger job, then of course, they stop any errors propagating um, badly. So here we've got RTK values. The precisions on them are around about the 20 mil mark. If we use a least squares adjustment, instead of these RTK errors being pushed into the control network, they will simply be used as a constraint. So they will not be held absolutely fixed. So we get the best of both worlds. We maintain the relative accuracy of the total station data, while we use RTK to prevent errors propagating. And we can use them in the middle of the traverse as well and all without having to hold anything absolutely fixed. So we end up with better relative accuracy and we should end up with better absolute accuracy as well. So when we've got here, we do have some issues. So we've got some, when I look at the flags, then I can see that we've got a horizontal tolerance here of 50 millimeters. One thing that I use all the time in TBC is the point derivation report. And it basically just allows us to see how different observations going into one um, point differ. It doesn't necessarily tell us which one's right. It just tells us how they differ. So we can see here that the RTK vector going into station four, which we already know was a higher vertical precision or and horizontal precision. Um, if that was held fixed, then the total station observation from station three to station four differs by 53 millimeters in horizontal 
and the, the value from station five to station four differs by 13 millimeters in a horizontal. The heights are, are 27 millimeters and 14 millimeters respectively. Now, of course, what we've got here is essentially we've got an RTK value and an RTK value coming in from this side, and then we've got RTK values and RTK values, and then observations based on those coming in from the other side. So it's not unusual for us, or it's not shouldn't be unexpected for us to see that these um, that there are slight differences um, when we're when we're feeding the observations in from both sides when everything's based on RTK. Because essentially, without doing an adjustment, everything's based on the actual raw observation values. So in the next video, we want to look at taking this data and running a least squares adjustment and process on the data.